Okay, today is just a quick video about um, Tello drone battery issues. So I've seen this a lot across, um, you know, forums and videos, people having issues with um, Tello drone batteries. Um, the, the trouble with it is, is um, you know, the, these type of batteries need to be used quite a lot. And, um, you know, the Tello is the type of drone that you sort of pick up, have a play with, and maybe you'll put it away and store it for ages. Um, and quite often you'll store it with the battery inside. So um, this is the original Tello battery, um, you know, that I got, the original battery it came with, it only came with one battery. Um, and then, you know, I'd left it quite a long time. It'd been um, just stored away um, and, you know, not particularly sort of cold or hot conditions or anything, stored pretty well. Um, but now when I come back to it, I'm holding down the, um, the button on the side and you can see there's nothing there there's no light showing up or anything um, so you'd have to assume the battery's dead so I plug it in and I get this light sequence uh, there was flashing red lights there I don't know if you saw that and then now we've got blue flashing lights so it's um, you can see it's flashing in succession um, for three and then one long blue light um, now I've tried to charge this battery on various uh, various wires, plugs, uh, different cables. Uh, I've charged it overnight and you know it, it's doing the charge sequence but um, th the battery just will not work no matter what I do. Um, and like I say the, the problem there really is that I think the battery has just fully discharged since um, the, the drone's been stored away. I mean in this case it's been stored away for quite a long time so um, just as a test, what I did was I bought a new Tello battery. I'll leave a link to where you can get, um, you know, Tello batteries. Always buy like the official, official batteries, and then you know they're going to work. Um, and it is as simple as just, um, you know, you just pull the, uh, pull the sort of ridged bit out of the back. Make sure the, um, all the writing and the barcode. Just make sure that's facing downwards. When it goes back in, you can kind of, uh, you should be able to see where it goes in. There's this little notch and this bit here, and it should click back in. Um, and then when you actually when you plug it into charge what you'll find is that the light sequence now should be slightly different so we plug it in we've got our red lights again but now you can see we've just got a constant just constant flashing lights we don't have that paused blue light it's just constant flashing on and off and then that sort of refers to the fact that the battery is actually properly being charged in this there's no um, there's no issue with it so um, to check it what we can do is just unplug it um, this battery is is pretty much charged it's probably charged enough to fly it but I'm not going to do that and then you can see if I hold it down the drone itself is working because um, it, it's come on now and then I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this but um, we can quickly try and uh, try and show you on the phone what um, what we've got so if we go into our Tello app Now, um, there is actually, there is one issue as well with this. Um, what you might find is that the Tello app just closes when you open it if you're on Android. Um, I think it's uh, the latest version of Android at the time of uh, recording this. There's an issue with the Tello app. You open it, it just closes. Um, and part of that is it's like a DJI wide thing that basically um, a lot of their apps, I think, got banned from the App Store. So all the latest versions of them are actually, uh, you have to download them from their website. Um, I'll leave a link to that below um, where you can download the app, like the latest version of the app. Um, and there's also, I'll link up above, it's a Mini 3 Pro video, which, you know, you don't have to have the drone, but basically um, it's a video about downloading the uh, DJI Fly app. It's exactly the same process as grabbing the Tello app. So uh, you can kind of follow the steps in that if you don't know how to download a app manually, like you have to download the AP, uh, the yeah the um, I can't remember if it's an SDK or an APK. I think it's an APK, but uh, basically it's like you download the file on your phone and you install it. But there's a couple of little steps you have to go through. So um, if you don't know how to install the app, just just jump into that video and it's just quite a quick, just run through. But anyway, once you've got it set up, now we can um, connect to the Tello. Okay, so um, yeah, we've just uh, restarted quickly. Sorry, the battery ran out of my camera, so I'm just um, just quickly doing this. So I've switched it back on, the Tello's ready to connect. We can jump in, connect to the Tello, 
and you can see we're on the on the Wi-Fi now for the Tello and then when we come back in we're all connected up um, now what you'll find uh, I mean you may not find this but um, I've I haven't connected this for a long time like I say it's, it's probably coming on for I guess like a year so we've got new firmware detected down here so just make sure you install that um, I'll speed this up while this is installing but um, yeah uh, like I say part of the thing is you need the um, you'll need the new app to be able to uh, to do this so make sure you've um, you've downloaded the new Tello app um, and like I say depending on if you're on iOS or Android it may be that you can just either get it from the app store or you might have to do this kind of manual install which it's a, it's a little bit of a pain but um, you know it, it's not too much of a a problem to do. Okay, I'll just speed this up while this is installing because it looks like it could take a little while. There's quite a lot of updates there. Okay, and now the updates just coming to the end. The uh, drone's just resetting itself. You can see the lights just going in the background there. Okay, so the update's finished and then um, it says upgrade successful, please connect hello. So if we just shut that down and then all we need to do is jump again into the into the Wi-Fi menu. So if I just quickly jump back onto the Wi-Fi for my hello, just a second. You can see there, it's it's just there. It's just um, it it has to jump off to uh, get the uh, obviously download the firmware update and everything. So you can see now we've got no firmware updates. Um, we're all up to date. The um, we're we're ready to fly again. I'm not going to do that because it's on on my desk right next to my computer. But um, yeah, you can see we're sort of all back in here. Everything's working. Um, so it, it literally is just the case of, um, you know, you, you, you've got the problem with the battery. It's probably just that the battery is actually depleted. I mean, the battery life on these really is only about 10 minutes anyway. So they're not, um, they're not huge batteries. Um, like I say, you, you can, um, I'll, I'll leave a link to where you can get batteries and things, but, um, the odds are if you're having trouble charging after a long time of having this switched off, it's just that the um, you know the the battery's gone. So, but um, you know you, you can um, you can leave the battery in for a while, the old battery. Leave it charging for a while. Check that it works. Um, you know, check that it's definitely not working uh, before going out and buying a new battery. But um, I think to be honest, you know, nine times out of ten, the the answer really is just going to be that um, the the old battery has just completely drained and it's 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 not going to. Um, it's not going to hold a charge again so um, yeah that's unfortunately that's sort of the answer but um, yeah hopefully this video has helped if it has then um, uh, give the video a like um, if you want to see more sort of drone content then um, please subscribe to the channel